Hello and welcome back to the second video of our WordPress beginner to advanced course and the ultimate goal of this course is to make you job ready to provide freelance services as a WordPress and Elementor expert on Upwork, Fiverr or on any other freelance marketplaces. So without further ado, let me talk about this specific video, what you are going to learn throughout this video. We are going to set up a local server on our computer so that we'll be able to create beautiful websites using WordPress without purchasing any domain or hosting. So no cost at all. You can start practicing creating beautiful WordPress websites. And I'm going to walk you through how to download, install and set up Zamp. I'm going to walk you through how to download, set up and install WordPress in the local server so that we'll be able to start creating beautiful websites. And at the end of this video, we are going to have our very first website created using our local server. So without further ado, let me just take you on the first step. So let's go to X, uh, X -A -M -P -P and hit enter and you are going to find this website apache friends this is the website from where we are going to download zamp into our local computer so let's just click here let me click here and it's going to load up here and as you can see here are the download options for windows linux and for mac computers so as i'm using windows i'm going to click here and we are going to see this downloading panel appeared so let me just click on save so that our download is going to be started as you can see it is a quite a big file 157 megabytes and it is going to take around half minutes to get this tool downloaded on our computer and while it is downloaded let me talk about our dedicated facebook support group where you can join and you can make posts with your problems with any question regarding to wordpress and elementor and i'd love to help you for sure so here this group i have created yesterday and we already have got 16 members and many are waiting and i'm going to approve them here right after making this video so don't miss to join this group all right to get my dedicated support so here we go we have got this tool downloaded now let me just click on this tool and we are going to click on this yes button here so that we'll get the installation widget appearing right here so here it is working let's click on yes we are we want to continue the installation and then you are going to see this warning for user account control so we don't actually have to worry about this thing for now so let me just click on ok and then you are going to find this setup wizard let's click on next and make sure all these features are selected okay then let's click on next and you are going to find this option to select the targeted folder so it is currently selected to C, but i am going to change the folder or the drive because on c i have got my windows installed for any reason if i face any issues with my windows i might going to uninstall the current version i might going to upgrade the windows i might going to decrease the windows to a uh, earlier version so if i for some reason if i forget to take the backup i might going to lose all my hard works which i am going to do so in this case what i can do i can simply select the folder from here and then instead of my um, instead of my let's say program program folder I, I, i'd love to take this file into a new folder so let's say I'd, I'd love to go with this l drive and then i'm going to select this folder so let's click on uh, select folder here and after that let me just give a name here x a m p p and then let's click on next and after that you are going to find this language option to select so we have got two options dutch and language english so i'd love to go with english but if you know dutch you can simply select dutch as well so let's just click on next and after that you are going to find this option where they are suggesting if you need bitnami for zamp actually we don't need more information about this so let me just uncheck now let's click on next to go for it and as you can see setup is now ready to begin installing zamp on your computer so now if we click on next the setup is going to be started so let's click on next and it is going to work as you can see unpacking then um, it is going to work and it will take around one to two minutes to get this tool installed on your computer so let's just wait well while it is just loading up and i'm going to come back 
and here we go we have got the zamp installed on our computer and as you can see it is asking us do you want to start the control panel now and obviously we want to start the control panel because we want to start creating our first website as soon as possible so let me just click it selected or check check it and then let's click on finish and the zamp tool is going to be appeared here so now let me just cross this out and let's cross these out as well we don't need them anymore and let's just go back here and first of all to start the working process we have to start our apache and mysql module here so let me click on apache and it is just started as you can see running and then let's click on mysql and here we go we have got them running as you can see the green sign here and here the status as well so we are totally fine with the zamp setup now if i just show you let me just minimize this one and then let me show you the folder from my computer here it is on l drive just take a look we have got zamp so now let's click here and then you are going to find this ht docs files and here we have got these files let's keep them as they are and now i want to create a folder here so let me just click here and then i'm going to give the folder a name so i'm going to type out my website okay and if i visit like let me just take you on google chrome and if i visit localhost and forward slash my website and hit enter you are going to see that you are seeing this folder working here so we are all done with zamp setup and it's time to download and set up our wordpress so that we'll be able to create the environment to create our websites using wordpress so let's just go for it i'm going to wordpress.org wordpress.org and hit enter and after that we have to click on this get wordpress from here and then we have to click here download and install and then we have to select download wordpress 5.6 so let's click here and you are going to find this download um, opening panel so let me click on save and the tool is going to be downloaded and i have got the tool downloaded instantly so let me just take you on show in folder and after that i'm going to extract all the files containing this uh, zip folder so let me just click here then extract all then click on extract and you are going to see that this folder has been created here and let's just wait while it is being extracted and here we go we have got wordpress extracted now let's just open this folder and then i'm going to copy all the contents from here copy and let's go back to the zamp folder here so again let me just take you from the beginning so here i am on my this pc and then i'm going to this um, drive and after that i have to click here on zamp and then we have to go to ht docs and then we have to go to this folder my website or whatever you have written you can give any name to the folder so now i'm going to click here and then in between this folder or inside this folder i'm going to paste all the information i have copied from wordpress as you can see it is being pasted here so let's just wait and here we go we have got wordpress files here now if i visit let's say here and then if i visit this page let me just reload again localhost slash my website so you should put whatever name you have given there so let me just hit enter and you are going to see this wordpress installation or wordpress setup widget so let me take it here let's just delete all of these things from here all right so here we go now as you can see you are seeing the language selection option you can select whatever language you want so i'm going to select english united states from here then let's click on continue and after that you are going to find this page where they are saying us to provide this information database name database username database password database host triple prefix etc etc so now where we can get this database name so let me just take this information here uh, i'm actually going to copy this information and let me paste them here so that i'll be able to insert the information here right so here let's go back again here on our local host on this web page and then we are actually going to create a new page here and i'm going to type out local host and instead of my website i'm going to type out php 
my admin okay and then hit enter and it is going to take you to your php my admin control panel page and from here we are going to be able to create a new database create a database user password etc so let me click here on databases and then i'm going to create a new database with a name so let's say i want to give this database a name let's say my website and then click on create and you can actually put whatever database name you want to give so let me just click on create and we have got the database created now let me type out this information here i have given my website as the database database name now let's go back again now it's time to create users so as you can see my website is selected now let's go to this privilege option click here and then you are going to find add user account so let me click on add user account and then you are going to find all these informations as you can see so i want to give my username as let's say um rafi and host name it should be local sorry local and local host will be automatically selected and then choose a password so i'm going to give the username copy the username or let's say type out i'm going to type out so it will be required later and then the password so we are going to generate a password from here so let's click here to generate and then i'm going to copy this whole password and let's go back again here and i'm going to paste it here let's go back here and then make sure you have clicked on this check all button so that all of these permissions are going to get by this user so now let's click on this go button right um right bottom okay bottom right so let me click on go button here and here we go we have got this database user account created as well now let's go back again we need we have created database name username password now we have to work on database host we actually selected to local host and about this table prefix if we want to create multiple multiple websites under one database we need to work on this and we are actually going to explain few more things about this in uh, future so let's just go back here and we are going to cross this out we don't need this one so let's click on let's go and here as you can see we have we have to provide this information the database name username password database host and then the table prefix so let's go back here again and we we provided database name to my website so let's copy my website and paste it here and then the web username was rafi so let me just type it out here or actually paste it out here and then here we have got the password so i'm going to type out or paste the password here and then database host is selected to local host which we have selected and then the table prefix by default we have got the table prefix to wp underscore but if you are working for a client for the security reason i suggest you to change this table prefix so let's say i want to put ah or whatever you want a z or whatever you want you can keep so i'm going to take a note for this table prefix as well which i'm going to uh, change here so i'm going to take you here table prefix okay as it or underscore and then let's click on submit and here we go now all right sparky we are done with the setup of the database and username password whatever it is and then it's time to click on run the installation so that you will be on the wordpress dashboard installation so here we go wordpress setup here we are now setting up our wordpress so i'm actually going to take another note so here it was for database and i am going to take another note here it should be for wordpress dashboard or wordpress let's say okay and then uh, as, as you can see here the site title you have to provide the site title of your website so we can give a site title let's say uh, my new website or my new wordpress website and then give the username this is going to be required when you are going to sign into your wordpress dashboard right so now i'm going to give a username here let's say rafi so i'm going to keep the username from here uh username and password so i have selected the username to rafi and i'm going to give the password so i'm actually going to um, use a easy password so i'm going to type out one two three four five six seven eight nine and then i'm going to add this at the rate at the end so copy and then 
as you can see this password is weak so they are suggesting us to confirm uh, use of weak password so let's say confirm I meant to update the password here okay and then you have to provide your email address so I'm going to provide my email address mdrafi9 at gmail.com but as we are working on our local server you are not going to receive any email from wordpress for sure so don't worry about this and regarding this option search engine visibility as you can see this is an option there is an option discourage search engines from indexing this site so basically this is for seo purpose so as we are creating these websites for practice purpose we can simply click on discourage search engines so that google yahoo and whatever being or whatever uh, search engines are going to index our site they are going to be restricted now let's click on install password to inst sorry, install wordpress so let me just show you and here we go success wordpress has been installed thank you and enjoy it's time to log in to our wordpress backend so let me just click on login and then we have to provide the username which we have created rafi for wordpress as you can see and here's the password so i'm going to type the password here one two three four five six seven eight nine and then at the rate now if i click on login oops the password is incorrect so i made some mistakes so let me just copy and then paste it here now let's click on login and here we go we are on the back end of our wordpress website right this is the WordPress dashboard. So we have successfully created our very first WordPress website using our local host. So let me just show you what is the web, uh, website looking like. Just take a look. We have got this beautiful web page, right? Very basic, but beautiful. This is the starting. So let me just cross it out. Let me just sign out from here. And let's say I want to close everything from here. And I want to visit this website from a new tab. Or actually in a new browser so let me show you in a new browser so that you will see that I'm going to type out local host slash uh, my website now we'll be able to visit our website from anywhere right we'll be able to sign into our WordPress backend from any browser of our computer so let's say I want to sign in again so I'm going to type out um, WP uh, hyphen um, admin okay let's hit enter and you are going to find this login page right so now let's put the username again rafi and the password was one two three four five six seven eight nine at the rate and now let's click on login and here we go we are being able to access the wordpress backend and now we are going to start customizing this website and we're going to learn more about wordpress backend and the website things in our future videos all right so that's it for this tutorial and thank you so much for watching this long video but let me recap again what we have done throughout this video we have downloaded installed and set up our zamp local server we have downloaded set up and installed wordpress so we have got this wordpress website so far we have got this wordpress backend and we're going to learn more about these functionalities more about plugins templates etc in our future videos thank you so much again and please don't forget to like this video if you have found this video helpful and please share this tutorial share this whole playlist share this whole course with your friends so that some of your friends will be benefited as well so Thank you again. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.